Welcome to Shulam Achshav on the Daf. Shir sponsor Lilui Nishmas Arm Yaakov Shulam Leah Bas Yitzchok. We're holding what we see at Daf Mem Aleph. The Gemara Mudah brings a sentence which is brought down a few times in Shas regarding Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan said, "Man the Metargem Li Chovis Aliba Dechatano." One who will explain our Mishnah and say that the entire Mishnah is one Tano and not that it's Machlokes Tanoim. I will carry his clothes after him to the bathhouse. What is the meaning of this expression? The Rabbi Yechonan says, I will carry his clothes to the Beis HaMechans. So the Maritzchais over here sends us to the Be'er Sheva in Simen Yudalif, where he says that the idea is the carrying of the clothes to the Beis HaMechans as a simon of an evid, of a slave. And the Gemara in Ksuvah's Daft Tzadik Vov tells us, Kol melocho is she'eved oise l'raboi, any melocho a slave does for his master, Talmud oise l'raboi. So a Talmud does to his, his rabbi as well. And what the Gemara there adds, there's one thing that a Talmud should not do to his rabbi, and that is ha-Torah samino, taking out his shoes. And the reason why not, because people will think that he's a slave, that he's an Evid. And the Gemara, but if the Talmud is wearing tefillin, so the tefillin indicates he's not a slave, and he could do even the removal of a shoe from his Rebbe. Says the Be'er Sheva, and so brings the Imer Bina, seems Ramesh like a quote from the Be'er Sheva, that not only removal of the shoe is a melacha, the one should not do to his Rebbe, because they're going to think he's a slave. But anything which is a little bit of bizarre, something that usually people don't do unless, unless they're slaves, it's something that Talmud should not do to his Rebbe. And this is what Rebbe is saying. Rebbe is saying, I'm willing to do even a melacha that seems that people will think that I'm a slave. I'm still going to do it to someone who explains to me this Mishnah. And adds the Be'er Sheva, he says, There are Be'er Alul Lenezilus. Not so clear what he means, Alul Lenezilus. But he adds, the loyal tefillin b'roisha. Rebbe did not have tefillin on his head, and because he did not have tefillin on his head, he doesn't have that indication that shows that he's a talmid. So Rebbe is saying, even though I don't have tefillin, I'm still going to do this melacha that people will think I'm a slave. That's the chiddush of what Rebbe is saying. And this thing that Rebbe Sheva says, the putting on shoes is, is equal to going to the bathhouse, is a Rashi in Pasha's behar. Vayikur per chafei pasuk lametes. When it says over there that Evid Ivory, you're not allowed to do too much work with him. So Rashi says, Avoid the Shilgnai, Sheenika Boke Evid. Don't make Avoid that looks like a slave. What are the two examples Rashi says? Sheenilich Kale of Achor Lobe Samechets. She not take his clothing to be Samechets. She should not put him in shoes. I mean, these are the indications that say this is an Evid. And this is what the Prayerim says. I'm willing to do that. Because I'm, I'm going to be so in debt for someone who explains me the mission in the right way. And just to conclude with what the Beresheva says, the Abirichin did not have to fill in. Because the Gemara in Yumada Pivov says, the Abirichin said, you know what does it mean, Chil Hashem? Like I, when, if I walk four Amas without filling, that's Chil Hashem. So the Abirichin was always with filling. So what does the Beresheva mean? But I found that the Be'er Sheva is referring to the Yerushalmi in Brochus Perek Beis Halacha Gimel. So there it says that Abu Yechanan, in the winter, when he was feeling good, he would wear tefillin, both a tefillin Shirosh and a tefillin Shayat. But in the summer, that his head was hurting him, he would not wear but tefillin Shayat, not tefillin Shirosh. And after that, so the Be'er Sheva means, Olulinezilus. It means he had some headache that did not allow him to put on tefillin Shirosh. So when the Gemara Yuma says that Rebbe Yechonin says I have to always have a tefillin, he meant at least tefillin shliyat, not tefillin shirosh. Tefillin shirosh he had only in the winter, not in the summer. And he made that's what the Be'er Sheva is saying. Rebbe Yechonin specifically says in a few places in Shas, anybody explains to me this thing, I will carry his clothing to Be'er Samechatz. I mean, I'm willing to show myself as a slave, and I don't have tefillin to show that I'm not a slave. At Kedekach, Rebbe Yechonin is willing to do for someone to explain to him the Mishnah in the right way. Anyone who wants to join the Shomachshava email list or WhatsApp group, please email shomachshava at gmail.com.